What up, a color? The green one's not here, so you just do red. Red, white, whatever. Oh, so this thing has one of those powered windows that auto comes down. Ooh, look at this shit. I didn't see all this yesterday. Yeah. Should have seen this yesterday. Oh, so this, you look at this, so they've got USB ports. I'm coming, I'm coming. But look, they have USB ports in the back. So I was, take a look real quick. Oh, you can, you can do it later, but I was saying, they got USB ports right in the, uh, uh, what is it called, the headrest. So you can charge stuff. Yeah, take that bag, throw that bag in the back. And you see they have these crystalline things on the uh, doors. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And the, the door opens with a button right below lock unlock mm -hmm. and this one has a nice this has like the suede this yeah, has the suede uh interior. yeah you see you see how i sit this thing this thing is freaking huge yeah this is huge this, this, this is yeah i was like i was shocked mm -hmm. and then they have heated cooled seats in this one this suede interior is nice yeah, it's hey. kind of minimal though no, well that's, that's the point no, no no look at all this navigation systems right there okay then the uh, modes for driving are right there so you can drive either slower and okay. more save energy and this that and other okay. or you can drive sport fast mm -hmm. so they also have the climate stuff so they do have heated and cold seats like i think your heated seat is like this is my side and that's your side right yeah. so your heated seat goes on low medium I'm gonna, I want to check out my cool... Oh, okay, that turns up the fan. My heat seat is right there. And then, well, I'll just put it in that and set your mirrors. Oh, and by the way, look at the um, oh. the light. You see the, uh, the, the moonroof? Mm -hmm. It's a fixed moonroof, but by pushing that, it dims or it... Uh, so the sun nice. doesn't bake your ass, you know? Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like it, yeah. Yeah, it looks kind of space-aging here, which yeah. is really good. I love this crystallized stuff. Very nice. Right, Set so your mirrors? No. Um, but it looks like Jalen didn't fit me because I don't even have to move my chair in the front. This thing is huge. Like, this thing is huge. This thing is big, way bigger than an XT5. Because... I just want to see what the Lyric looks like inside. Mm -hmm. But uh, this this is so far the best one I've seen. And you and they have this dial right here. The dial allows you to move around stuff. The touch screen's easier, mm -hmm. but the dial allows you to just go through things, you know, or it allows you to reset the uh, thing when you turn it. You can also shift it around. Oh, spoken instructions, that's good. Yeah, you can talk to this thing. Try not to run these people over. No, no, I'm not even going yet. I like the steering wheel. It has like, you know, separated parts, which is good. Mm -hmm. In order to put the thing in drive mm -hmm. all you do is put your foot on the thing and then you pull this you see this put, put your foot on there and then you pull that into drive but it is this thing on okay so mm -hmm. push start okay now it's on now you see how it's in park mm -hmm. you pull this back to put it in drive now it's in drive mm -hmm. and you push this for park okay okay so go ahead okay all right so in, so which way am i going okay we're gonna drive behind them we're gonna basically follow them out so put it in drive. All right. That's it. Just drive like normal. Oh my gosh, I can see like the speed ahead of me. There's a heads up display. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of distracting a bit because I'm looking at it rather than the bloody road. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? You know, it's funny. You can see it, but I can't see it on this angle. So yeah, just go right here and just head out. Real smooth. Yeah, this material is nice. Yeah, steering wheel gives you a nice grip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And off we go. All right. Oh, yeah. That's a smooth transition there into the picking up speed. Mm-hmm. So is it like a test level? I don't have to actually... Um, 
I believe that there are uh, self-driving things, but the, see, Tesla puts it right out there in front so you know exactly where it is. Right. But as far as I know, um, I don't know if this one has it. I'm just driving regularly. They want you to drive it to see how it feels. And, and you're probably... It a little bit, but then, and it showed me that, and I felt it. Okay, so there's a little drag. slip. Yeah, yeah it doesn't drive. All right. It didn't drag. It's nice. But it showed me that it was... Yeah, well, just drive normally. And you can go all the way up. You remember that tower? You can go all the way up and then turn around, come all the way back, and then we'll switch places. Yeah, the, the heads up, the um, speed limit's right in front of me. I think it's possible to turn that off. Yeah, that, that's a bit distracting. I'll turn that off. Um, so I'm doing like 53. Ooh, it feels smoother. The transition when you're moving faster. Like now, yeah, There's no transmission. No transition. I know. But it's what when I'm. You go faster. What I'm saying is there's no transmission, so there's nothing switching gears. And because there's no gears, it just feels like a, a direct input. You know? yeah, yeah. It's linear. Yeah, it feels like that. But it keeps, ooh, so it's, a little it's, slippy. it's raining, yeah, it's a bit slippery. Yeah. I'm gonna slow down. It showed me that, and then I felt it in the steering wheel, but it didn't like, ooh, veer. Like, like, you know what? I'll tell you what it is. Yeah. I'm going to change, what you do is you push my mode, and then we're gonna change it to efficient. See if there's a difference when you're driving it now it probably won't do the slip because I turned on sport mode. Yeah. So now do what you did before and see whether or not it slips any. Yeah, I don't think it's going to no. because I, I've decreased the amount of torque in the car. Oh, okay. yeah, now it's better. Yeah, this is a nice interior shit. Yeah. This is, so this is cars, nice. Don't go on the sports mode or when it's bad weather. Get it, put it on efficient. Right. Yeah. Bad weather, efficient. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, yeah, it didn't slip as much. It just did a little one. But it was controlled. I didn't feel like, oh my god, this is my control, and I can't manage it. Uh -huh. It's good. Um, yeah, I really love the steering because it has a better grip than just straight. You see that this is the key for the car. Oh, oh wow. The key is a. You it's just a. Tap uh, it on the door. No, you just put it right here, and the car knows it's in the car. That's how that's how Tesla does it. Okay. I'm not a fan of that, but they make it so you just put it in your wallet. Yeah. But uh, what if what if your wallet gets stolen? Now yeah. you can't get in the car. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure you have an extra somewhere. But yeah, if it's stolen now. Now see, we're Americans. In order to make sure your wallet doesn't get stolen, you're supposed to also have a gun. <laughs> so <laughs> you can keep the key you're tied to the my gun. Mind flipping thing with just talking that stuff. I don't say that stuff on my Instagram. Yeah, well, you're that's because you're British. You only got no rights. <laughs> yes, we're going to have to. I did that part. Uh, yeah, I could do that. Good I got an iPhone. Uh, but yeah, it's lovely. It's driving really well. Yeah. Um, yes, hello, all you fans of John, the English ladies here again. Uh -huh. <laughs> Doing the test drive of the, what is this, John? BMW iX. BMW iX. It's lovely. Yeah, I like the seats are comfy. Steering wheel, I really like. Oh, my is totally efficient. What, 300 miles? 300 miles before, between charges at least. I think it's up to 320. Yeah. But so they, they tell you 300 just to be sure. Right. So do they have a charge port? Like, my husband's like, are you going to charge? Are you going yeah, to they have a charge port, port right on here. There's no gas in this car. No, I mean, um, he's like, oh, where are we going to charge that? Yeah, uh, build that. You have to just have it plugged into your house. You can either plug it into a regular socket or you can plug it into a high voltage socket. But you can also go to the BMW and plug it in there? You can. Is that free or is there a charge for that? Um, no, it's uh, it's free if you are a BMW owner, obviously. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll just go around the roundabout. So when I was yeah, you might want to stay in the stay in the left. Stay in the left. Right. Yeah. Right, so when I was slowing down... Ooh, it felt like it was going away from me, not really... Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going around. Did it. Brakes, yeah, it's kind of smooth turning. Yeah, yeah. Thank God no one's out here. Yeah, it's all—it's really smooth. Yeah, that was smooth, definitely. Didn't have a problem turning around. It was really smooth. And now let's punch it. Right. Well, if you're gonna—if you want to do that, then you hit my modes yeah, and then you hit sport, sport mode mm -hmm. active. Oh, bloody! And now you hear the yeah, difference because they got it. sounds and shit. Picked up. Oh yeah, it has sounds. Sport mode, steering, everything's in sport basically. So, yeah, so now it handles different. Right. Yes, it does. Very 
different handling release than the sports mode. Yeah, so there's a little bit slip because it gives you more torque. Very smooth driving. I like the size, feels good, not too big. Manageable for a woman, yeah, yeah. I like it. I don't like SUVs to be too big, so mm -hmm. perfect size. Loving it. Um, what else has it got? So, ooh, it's, um, oh, I like the way it shows the um, speed. It's like gradient is going higher. Does it have like the Tesla have where you can put the stop distance you want from the other cars and all that? That's called adaptive cruise control. I believe it does. I just haven't played around with it enough. Okay. Like you see how there's buttons on the steering wheel that say mode and set and all that. Chances are that's cruise control. Okay. And then I see the plus and minus, but this looks like it's for the radio, for the yeah. volume and all that. Yeah, that's the like the volume knob is right here, so you can turn up the radio right here. And by the way, you know what you can do with this? If you want to turn the radio up, all you do is point at it and you roll your finger like this. You see that? Oh, wow. Like you're like you're directing an orchestra or something. Mm -hmm. I always thought that no, what you do is put point your finger there and then turn it. There you go. Now turn it down. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's cool. Keep turning. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, you can go back. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, go back to focus. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. Don't play around with those toys too much when you're driving. Yeah, no, you can't. No, 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 no. What's the trunk space like? Good. Oh, the trunk space? This fucking thing is huge. Now, I think because there's so much back seat space, I think it might have about the same trunk space or less than that XT5. But then again, because this thing's so tall, mm -hmm. probably has more. Yeah, well, you'll know because you'll, you'll end up getting into the left lane. You'll see the tents. All right, so very nice, yeah. Yeah, this thing is super smooth. I like this. Very smooth. I could almost consider this. Mm -hmm, me too. Like, before I was thinking, oh, yeah, well, you know, the EV6 or Dodge or Chrysler, but it's like mm -hmm. this, I could, almost, I could consider this now. What's it going for, though? 100 well no it's like 90 not it's 90 it's 90 it's basically 90 but because there's craziness in the market right now it's basically 100 yeah, it's crazy. so what are you gonna do okay for now but you, you gotta understand the, the thing i would say about that is if the lease is cheap enough you're not paying for gas so that extra couple of hundred or whatever <laughs> that you'd normally be spending every you know you're not spending that so it kind of actually evens out and then the brakes on these cars don't wear out as quickly as the brakes on a regular car do so yeah. you know it's like you have less maintenance there's no oil changes yeah. so wow. there's no oil change there's no gas there's brake less brake changes so when you factor in all that savings yeah. you know they pass the savings on to you how you know? is the insurance on that they like i have no idea them? now you'll get into the left lane and when the next turn comes up, that's when you'll turn. Okay. Yeah, very smooth. Yeah, see, the in insurance in general, I think insurance is probably lower on EVs, but I'm not really sure. Turn. Yeah, this is the turn. And then as soon as you turn, you'll get into the right, so you can make the, uh, right, turn. the right turn back in. All right. Yeah, there you go. So I want, I want it to have that stopping itself thing. Um... Yeah, the, the adaptive cruise control, I'd have to play with it just to figure that out. And then you're not in traffic, so there's nobody to test it on, you know? Right. Because everybody's so following distances is so high out here. Mm -hmm. But I know, I know this car has that, though. Yeah, that would be good. I would want that. So this is fully loaded right now? It yeah. appears if there's anything more that you could get, I, I don't know, because, you, you know, they just started selling them. So when you build it, if you build it, it's 100% fully loaded. You can have the colors, anything you like, you know. You can have a green on the outside, green on the inside, red on the whatever. It's like you can build it to spec. Okay. Yeah, we go right here. The cleaners are going to tell us to get out, and then we'll tell them that we're driving. I'll tell them I'm going to drive now. You can look at the trunk while we're there. Uh, stop. Yeah, stop right here. Uh, okay, put it, put it in the park. Is it in the park? Uh, we're driving back to back. 
I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna swap out. Okay, so wait, hold on. He wants you to pull up. He wants you to pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Okay, he wants you to go over to this guy. This guy eating his pizza and stuff. <laughs> That's the man right there. You got the pizza. All right. You can stop right here. Stop right here. Stop right here. Because they don't have to clean it because I'm. we're just going to get out. Push the part. All right. There you go. And then just get out. Push the part. The button is under the lock unlock. Right there. Look under the red light. Under the red light. Under the red light. Under the red light. Right over there. Red light. Look. No. Look, look at the bottom button. Oh. There you go. Yeah, look at the. You see the trunk? Oh gosh, yeah. That's yeah, that's that's the side. You can you can ruin this by throwing shoes and shit. Yeah, yeah, all my shoes can. And you see that this is the cable. No, that's cool. cable. Yeah, it's <laughs> looking. That's the dryer. Mm -hmm. The same as the dryer. Two forty. Wow. That's cool. Okay, and then you can put the seats down right there. Look at the back seat, real quick. How long does it take? You do, these are the type of, you do this, you basically do it, if you have high voltage charging in your house, you do it really quick overnight or while you sleep. Yeah, so. I just thought you stuff. Yeah. Where's my hat? I think I left my hat yeah, underneath your chair, yeah. yeah. I like this interior, shit. This is nicer than the one I drove, we were driving yesterday. Yeah. Cause the, the other one was like, I think it was like plain black. Mm -hmm. This, yeah man, this is. Easy to clean? They built the shit out of this car. I'm loving this crystallized thing. All right, so, and this one has the manual, cause I don't remember the other one having that. Okay. a heads up display because I couldn't see it before. So it says speed limit 55, 35 miles per hour. Okay, so the heads up display is there. Now, in order to turn on the uh, automatic distance control, you have to push, what is this? You have to push uh, mode and then it says push set to activate. And let's see, push button to activate. You got to push this button right here and it says assisted driving mode. So I think I could take my hands off this bastard and let's see if it runs over these trees. <laughs> oh, you see that? You see the you see how it has the yellow steering wheel? It yeah. says put your hand on the wheel. Yeah. So then when you put your hand on the wheel, it turns green. I think you can set the speed by increasing that button right there. So I'll just do 52. Yeah, yeah I'll leave it there. Now, you see that green steering wheel? Mm -hmm. As soon as it wants you to put your hands on, it'll tell you. I, but that's annoying as fuck. <laughs> I don't want to put my hands on the shit. I paid for you to drive yourself, you fucking car. <laughs> yeah, if I pay $100,000, you're supposed to drive your goddamn self. I'm not supposed to have to do this put shit. Yes. Well, this thing's so fucking smart. It should put the wipers on for me. Okay, so now it wants me to put the dent. And it even tells you in the heads up display, too. Yeah. Let me see if I can capture that. Let me see. So they want you to just put your hand on real white. Okay, there it is, now I can see it. So in the heads up display, if I take my hand off, it'll drive itself, but then it'll go yellow and it'll say, put your hands on. That's, yeah, but that's a rip off. I want that shit to drive itself. That's like, I don't want to have to, like, I want to be able to, you know. Yeah. And, and it's funny, cause it has to be a light touch. It doesn't have to be heavy. Like you just you just basically have to just leave your finger on the shit. I, yeah. Not, yeah, but I want you to drive yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to do that shit. That's the whole point. <laughs> that's the whole point of buying an electric car. I don't want to have to. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the problem. See, that's as much as I hate Tesla because their interiors suck. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm, con I mean, I don't. They don't but have much. They, but they, they, they the one thing they got is the car drives itself. Yeah. That's yeah. the one thing they got. Other than that. Other than that, I wouldn't buy dog shit from them. <laughs> so all I gotta do is just keep this light touch and that's it. And it'll stay in the lane. Okay, just light touch. Oh my God. 
I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna set it for 60 since I'm comfortable with that. Yeah, see, I told you, these things all have adaptive cruise control. I figured that was gonna do it. Yeah. So it's doing a pretty good job. It hasn't crashed yet. We're still alive, right? They're gonna sell a lot of these. The only thing I guess they have to do now is make it a smaller, so this way they have a cheaper one, and uh, then they'll be good. Yeah, but this whole thing about, I wanna keep my hands off the damn thing. I don't wanna have to drive this damn thing. Cause see, the what? The Lyric has a full self driving, and what it does, it watches your face. So if it, if it sees you trying to go to sleep or some shit, and it watches your eyes, your eyes close, it's like, nah, homie, wake up. Yeah, Cadillac self-driving is probably the best I've seen. The only thing about it is Tesla has a new self-driving where all you do is put the address into the navigation system and it just drives you there, you know? And it's, if you're on just regular straight roads, it has no problem at all. But when you start doing roundabout turns and stuff, that's when it needs you to keep your hands on the wheel usually, or it needs you to pay attention, you know? Yeah, so what do you think about this? I like it. push stop and now all that self-driving shit turned off and then I get prepared for the roundabout you know but you know what's funny the people who are at this event they don't really know much about the cars because those people aren't BMW people they don't know a lot about the cars so nobody mentioned nobody mentioned self-driving to me you know, and th that's something that they should talk about. They need to advertise that shit. Okay. Yeah, if you want, because the thing about it is, Tesla doesn't even really do commercials, but everybody knows what a Tesla can do. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta advertise. Oh, yeah, this is noise. Is the white one? Yeah, well, when you're used to dealing with a car that has this much torque and skids, it's like, for you, once you understand it, making the quick corrections is easy, you know? Because even my car, like, if you if you really put your foot down on it, you may get wheel skid, but you can correct it real quick, but you have to know what you're doing. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm throwing it in assisted again. So I have it going assisted to 105. Wow. It's fucking Star Trek here. That is crazy. That is crazy. That's a, oh, snap. Wait a minute. That's a McLaren. Or That's a McLaren right there. Oh, snap. What up, McLaren? Oh, snap. Where you going? Oh, we got the electric cars now, bro. Is that a 720? No, that's the 8. I know that guy. Window down, say hi. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yes, yes, that's fine. Go on YouTube, bro. Do I do something? I don't know why he's driving behind a stupid Dodge Charger. Yeah. <laughs> but they, these electric cars, though, Tesla got a car that's so fucking fast for half the price of this McLaren that if if I was driving that Tesla played mode, they got two of them they got the big one, they got the small one I could blow that goddamn car's doors off he'd see nothing but taillights all day long, he'd see nothing but taillights in that McLaren yeah, Tesla, the Tesla ain't joking, their new car does like 200 miles an hour and shit Yeah, but see, my, I, I, I just can't do another gas car. I just can't do it. 
I can't do it. It's just not exciting anymore. I just, I, I gotta get, I, I don't know what, which one I want to buy, but the next one's got to be electric. And I like that EQS, but it's too small. I wish they had just made it bigger, but hey, whatever. They don't have an SUV? Um, not yet. They have the EQA and the EQB coming. Yeah, and the brakes are pretty good because they, you know, they got these regenerative brakes. I'm not going to run that yellow stop side over. Yeah, this thing is tight. Yeah. This thing's tight. All right, let's go. Now, imagine being able to drive as fast as you need to drive, but not having to buy fucking gas. That's in, that's that's exactly what I need. Because when, when I drive my truck, it's like I got, I'm always on empty. <laughs> it's like I'm always on empty because I'm always doing like 90 miles an hour everywhere. She must be tired. Yeah, exactly. She's tired. Let her sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sleeping at the wheel. Must be tired. Oh, this is. Oh, she's so tired. Right now, I know how to get out. Excellent. Right here. Uh, that was awesome. Okay. Beautiful. All right, brother. Thank you. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, this is a nice interior. Yeah. yeah nice. Oh, this guy, she's got the M, the 850 right there. We could drive that one if you want, but that one, honestly, that one's not as, that one's not that cool. The one you we're gonna drive is the 745, so we gotta register for that. You're gonna like that. Yeah. But it, it, it's it's electric, but it's a hybrid. It's not a full electric. Okay. Now oh, this is yeah. the car. This is the i4 car. Yeah. And. Um, that's, yeah, it's nice, but it's small. It's a small car. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna like any car. Nah, you're gonna like the 750. Yeah. Trust me, you're gonna like the, oh, 7, yeah, the, the 745. 750. You're gonna like that. I've been in the 7 Mercedes, so I don't know what they do. 